loves, it's Sam. So today I'm gonna be doing a Pamela Anderson inspired makeup look for you guys. As soon as I saw the book, I was like, oh my God, I really wanna recreate this look. My very first ever YouTube video was actually a Playboy Bunny inspired makeup tutorial and it was based on Pamela Anderson's makeup. So I have been a fan of her since she was CG on Baywatch. She will always be the hottest person in the universe to me. Like she, for me, if I could ever look like anyone, it would be Pamela Anderson. I just absolutely love her. I'm so happy that she's like come back into the limelight. I'm so happy that she's getting to tell her story in her own way. We've got super thin eyebrows. I basically just followed my exact shape because I have no eyebrows because of Pamela Anderson. So thank you very much for that. I'm also gonna be showing you guys some super cool anti-aging devices that I recently got. And so today I'm actually like using them for you guys and showing you guys exactly how to use them. They are so cool. The first one is the Current Body Skin LED Light Therapy Mask. So this is a mask. As you can see, it's covered with these little lights that are red light therapy. And basically you wear this mask for 10 minutes and you are gonna get all of the benefits of red light therapy right on your face. It has a little charger bank that has the power, it comes in this little bag, and it comes with like these little goggles. If you, if honestly I wore it without, you can, it's perfectly safe. I didn't feel like I needed the goggles, but it does come with goggles if you feel like, oh, maybe you're just a little sensitive to light, like it happens to the best of us. And then you basically just pop this thing right in here it's 10 minutes it doesn't hurt it's non-invasive and it's going to help with your wrinkles your fine lines it's also going to help with discoloration like your uneven skin hyperpigmentation acne it's easy to wear it's comfortable it is definitely like not something that feels like it doesn't hurt doesn't burn nothing like that so that's the first one the second one is this fabulous little device it's tiny it fits in the palm of your hand so it's great for travel this is something that you can use six maximum of six times a week minimum of three times a week to actually like get results and it is a nano current and micro current little device and this is by zip beauty so it looks like this that's the button you press and this has bluetooth technology so it's going to hook up to your phone and there's an app it has all of these different tutorials of how to use this little device to lift to help with your fine lines and wrinkles, to help that jowl area, give yourself a nice little brow lift. I feel like I got a great brow lift today. And basically what it does is it uses two types of electrical pulses to firm the skin. So those microcurrents are gonna give you those long lasting results of tightening, plumping the skin, helping boost your collagen. <laughs> collagen and elastin. And those nanocurrents are gonna help penetrate deeper into the skin to help with hyperpigmentation, acne, as well as lymphatic drainage. So I feel like personally for me, I definitely did see a difference right off the bat. I feel like my eyebrows are lifted. They are definitely like, I feel like it's almost like I've pulled up like, and I have just a loose little clip in right now. It's definitely not pulled, but I feel like my face is just kind of pulled up because you're going upwards. All your motions are upwards. And there are 27 treatments on the app. So you just pair it to your device. You go into the app and there's tons of different ones. And I kind of talk a little bit more about it as I get into the video. For me, this is perfect because I'm not only getting long lasting results, but I'm seeing immediate results and I'm getting that instant gratification, which makes me feel like, yes, I'm doing something. I look good. This would be great if you have special events to go to, or if you're going to be in a wedding or if you are, if you are the wedding, if you're getting married, if, I mean, I know that we're coming up on bridal season, use it the day of before you do your makeup and you're actually going to get that lift. That's going to last anywhere from 40 to 72 hours. So you're going to get an immediate lift and kind of tighten and like, just like, you know, sculpt your face, but that's gonna last for at least the day of the wedding. And it's also a really great option if you are someone who is a little bit nervous to try Botox and filler. I mean, obviously you guys know I have Botox and fillers, so I'm not scared, but it doesn't mean you're scared. Just some, some people are just not comfortable with it. They don't want to inject um, filler and Botox into their face. So this is a really great non-invasive way. There's no needles. There's nothing being injected into your body. It's just using electrical pulses to help lift firm, tighten, 
even out your skin and the red light therapy is also has so many benefits which i will go into as well and maybe you guys will just see as i continue do my to do my videos that my skin will just naturally look younger and you'll be like wait a minute what's been do what's she been doing what's her fountain of youth and i can say um it's zip beauty hello also i forgot to tell you um when it, when you get the zip beauty device it also comes with the gel you have to use a gel with these nano current micro current devices this is something that comes in the kit but they have three different types of gel i also have the silver gel which is geared more towards like um more sensitive skin so if you have acne if you have active breakouts this is something that you would want to use if you are looking for just like really firming the skin more of that anti-aging then you would go with the golden gel which is what comes in it but i have both because i do have acne so sometimes i'm going to be active um, as far as breakouts Let's hope not, but sometimes it happens. I do have a coupon code for the Zip Beauty and the LED light therapy or red light therapy mask. If you use code SAM25 and you want to get the bundle of both the Zip Beauty nanocurrent microcurrent device as well as the light therapy mask that I showed you first, that's going to be SAM25. I'll put it right here. That's going to get, that's going to save you guys 25% off of that bundle. So it saves you $218. Super generous. So a huge thank you to Zip Beauty for partnering up with me for this video and for giving you guys that coupon code. I'm gonna look so fun today. So I'm on the tightest one because my head's kind of small. It does kind of stick quite well. Like it actually is kind of like a sticky for not sticky, but it stays onto your face quite well. So I'm basically just gonna hold it down and boom. So this is gonna go on for 10 minutes. So it doesn't feel too bright, my eyes feel fine. It's snug, it doesn't feel like it's coming off. So I'm gonna have links to everything in the description box for you guys so that you guys can check it out. Um, so I'm just gonna to talk to you about the different gels. I have two separate ones. So when you buy the device, you'll be getting this gel, it's the golden one. This one is a Zip Electric Complex. It's got five growth factors, peptides, 24 karat gold, Hermatite, and this is best for firming the skin. So that's the one that comes in the box. So this is what the app looks like. It's just zip. It says Bluetooth should be on. It says press the top button to power on your zip. So I'm just gonna press it. It just beeped at me. Hold zip near your phone. I think they're paired now. So I'm just gonna take the golden gel and I'm gonna take, I think I'll take like three pumps because you wanna make sure your whole face and neck is covered. It actually feels kind of like slippery, almost like an oil. You're gone now, or you call me back. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I know that. You're the traveling kind, it's a known fact. Yeah, I know that. Mm. Once you've seen all the all the places I hope it means that you come home to me once you travel the world all the spaces inside your heart my eyebrows are definitely more lifted for sure as you can see there's so many different um tutorials on here for different like like different results i'm feeling refreshed i feel like my face has had all these fabulous treatments on it so so first i'm gonna go in with my acne treatment i'm just doing one pump i'm like literally my face is so pale right now all my self tan has come off I'm so white. <laughs> Sometimes I forget how pale my natural skin is until it all comes off. And then I'm like, wow, girl, you are very, very white. I'm gonna go in with my Hyper Glow from Dime Beauty. I just love this. It's a great vitamin C serum. Nothing is feeling raw. Like, 
it doesn't feel like I've done anything to my face that like is making all my skincare feel like raw or painful. My skin feels really nice. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my Dime Hyaluronic Acid. I've really been loving this skincare, you guys, because obviously I was testing it out for a little while before I did the video, which I think is the video that you'll be watching before this one. And my skin has been so beautiful since I've been using this, this routine. Like, I've really been really impressed. I put a little bit too much, so I'm just gonna bring it down. Like, I don't have any breakouts, and um, I have been ovulating through this, of this system, of this, like, routine. Didn't break out. I'm about to start my period. Haven't broken out. Pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. Okay, I'm taking the Dewy Day Cream. One, two, three. And I love the fact that nothing hurts my face. Like, it feels so good. It's hydrating, it's not too oily, nothing burns. Even the vitamin C serum doesn't burn. Like everything just feels so nice that my skin has just been feeling so hydrated. It's just amazing, like once you get into your 30s, you really focus on your skincare. Okay, and then I'm just gonna finish off with my sunscreen. And I usually do about three pumps. So, let me just get that massaged in and just work that all over the face and the neck. I really do feel like my eyebrows are way lifted from that device. Like now I'm kind of like, am I, did I find a new obsession? Am I gonna be addicted to it? It's a good thing I never started drinking <laughs> and I've never tried drugs. Cause I feel like if I like something, I just want more. Like I cannot just like have one little bit of chocolate. I have to have a whole lot. And it's funny cause when I was younger, my dad always said like addictive personalities run in our family. And so you'd be really careful, like, you know, doing drugs or anything like that. Um, and I can honestly see that because like when I like something, I'm like obsessed with it. Like when I was a teenager, I was obsessed with tanning. I would go, instead of just like doing a normal amount of tanning, I would have to be the person that did it twice a day, every single day, because I was so obsessed. And if I have chocolate, like I want the whole bar. I can't just have like a piece. I just want it all. Like I'm just, if I like something, I want more. And I feel like this, now that I'm seeing results, I'm like, <laughs> I have to resist from like doing it all the time. Cause I'm like, I literally feel like my eyebrows are so much higher than they usually are. I feel so lifted and I feel like this little bit's lifted. I'm so excited. Let me go wash my hands and wash my sponge. I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Prime Lab 24 hour matte setter. So I'm not gonna go in with the Essence one that went in wild. Cause that one is like really oil control and I honestly don't feel like I need it at the moment. And then I'm just gonna take the poreless putty primer instead of the matte one today. And I'm just gonna apply that where my pores are. So Phoenix is 12 today. I know there's a lot of you that have been watching me since Phoenix was little. Or even that I was pregnant. How insane that I have a 12 year old. Like I, I just can't believe it. It's gone by so fast. Like he's a full on preteen. And do you know what's even crazier? He's gonna be driving in three years, which kind of stresses me out just a little bit. I actually think he'll be a great driver, but just the thought of like having a 15 year old learning how to drive is like, how is this my life? I don't understand. Today, I am gonna go in with the Valentino. I think I need to buy a new one of this. I'm almost out of it. That's how much I've been using it. I'm freaking obsessed. This is that elf sponge that I used the other day. I just love it so much. I feel like I've just found so many amazing products lately that I'm just really pleased with myself. Luckily, my chest still has a little bit of self-tanner. The face self-tanner for me it literally lasts like two seconds. It's like two days and then it's gone. So my face is just always white. When I go to the beach, I can't get color on my face like from the sun. Because I have melasma, it just gets like blotchy and like makes me look like I'm dirty. Like it's so much worse than hyperpigmentation because I feel like hyperpigmentation you can at least get rid of. 
Like melasma apparently is like so difficult. You have to go on hydroquinone or whatever the crap that's called. But then I've heard there's like really bad side effects to it. So, ugh. I am going to say this right now. My eyebrows are definitely lifted from that device. I don't care what anyone says. I feel like they are lifted. I feel like my face is looking smooth and like sculpted. I'm actually loving this darker hair because I never have to worry about getting foundation on my blonde, which is really, really nice. Like I can take it like up a little higher and it doesn't matter. I've like been on this journey to like not get bleach for the whole year of 2023. My stylist, I could tell she wanted to laugh and be like, let's see how long you'll last. But I'm determined. And I was getting it really blonde for a minute there. So I just feel like I just need to take a break from the bleach. Cause I would rather have darker, long, thick, amazing hair than super thin blonde hair. That's what I came to the realization. I like had, I had to have a heart to heart with myself. And I was like, what do you want? What do you want? Nope, style. And then I said, you know what? No, I want thicker hair. I would rather have thicker hair than blonde hair. So that's what we're doing. We're just gradually going like natural. This is like all my natural, obviously she put a toner on it, but it's like the color of my natural hair color, um, just to kind of blend it. And that is my journey for 2023. If anyone wants to join in, let me know. We could just have a little club of not having blonde hair. Obviously it's still blonde down here cause that was where it was always like highlighted but she just put like a toner on it, like a darker toner to like blend it out so it wasn't like so dark at the roots and then like so blonde at the bottom. Um, so I think she did a 6N and a 7N at the roots, like a root stretch, you guys are wondering. And then I think she did it. 9 VG and an 8 VG from Redken on the ends. And I gotta be honest, like at first I was kind of in shock and I was slightly freaking out just a weeny bit and I was like, oh my God, my hair looks so dark. I don't feel like myself. I mean, it's so funny cause that's like my natural hair color. But you know, it's like weird when you've been super duper blonde for so long. And so I was kind of having a little bit of a like, whoa, this, I don't know if I can do this. Then I kind of was like, nope, suck it up, get a life, don't be a loser. And I feel like, honestly, I really do like it now. It's like way less uh, maintenance. This color, even when it looks a little greasy, it just looks extra shiny. So it doesn't look as bad. I don't know, I feel like it's just really, I've really been loving it, which I didn't think I would, but I feel like it's actually working out quite well for me. And you know what's really funny? is that I feel like uh, my hair actually matches Lily's and Jay's. Like me and Jay almost have the same natural hair color. His is a little bit darker than mine, but his is very ashy. It's like a very ashy dark blonde. Um, I feel like now like we totally match. It's so funny. I think it's so funny when like you look at couples and like a lot of the time they literally look like they could be si siblings. <laughs> it's just like so weird. He's been like wanting me to go natural for so long like my natural hair color because he's always the one that hears me complaining every time my hair breaks off he's like i don't know why you keep on bleaching your hair like you've been doing it for years and you this is what i do i go back and forth so i'll bleach my hair and then i keep doing it and keep doing it and then it starts to get thinner and thinner because it keeps breaking off and then i get super mad and i have a meltdown and then i'll change my hair color i'll either go pink or i'll go brown or i'll just like you know I'll just change my hair color so that I'm not doing bleach anymore. Usually I go pink. And then I miss the blonde and I feel sad and I forget that it breaks my hair off because I'm like, oh, my hair's doing so well. It's so thick and beautiful and healthy. Then I go back to blonde and then eventually over the years of doing it, I start losing a little bit each time I get my hair done. Then my hair goes thin and then I get mad and I have a meltdown and then I go darker. And that is my toxic trait. It's just a cycle that never ends. But I'm really, I'm really determined to get my hair super healthy. That's what my goal is. So far I'm being such a good girl. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna like be really boring and use all the same products that I've literally just used. But tonight I kind of wanna do a little bit of a Pammy look. I got this book from her. And her front cover makeup looks so beautiful. 
but I was like, oh, I kind of want to recreate that. And since we're going out tonight for Phoenix's birthday, we're going out for the sushi. I freaking hate sushi. <laughs> Why does my child, he asked if he could go to sushi for, di for his birthday dinner. I'm like, dude, sushi twice in the matter of a one week period. I just don't like it at all. And I feel like rice really bloats me and dehydrates me. I don't know about this life. I just really don't like it. So anyway, we're going out with my brother and Lindsay for Phoenix's birthday to sushi per his request. And so technically like we're not going to have like a Valentine's Day dinner. Just Jay and I. We never really do. Um because usually we go out for Phoenix's birthday and then we're like, oh, whatever. Like, we don't need to go out for Valentine's Day. So I'm just going to technically get ready for Valentine's Day for tonight. Because we usually just celebrate Valentine's Day and Phoenix's birthday all into one. Because it's, you know, it's literally the day before. And since we're all going out anyway, I'm just going to get ready as if it was for Valentine's Day. We're lifted. We're sculpted. We're red light therapied. So my skin is going to be looking fab. This is that Rimmel bronzer. I really do love it, you guys, and it's so affordable. I'm just like so impressed. And it hasn't broken me out, which is so nice. It's just like gets exhausting when you're like, you go through a moment where you're like, oh my god, my skin's looking so amazing. I'm so fab. And then all of a sudden it breaks out and you're like, oh, I thought I was over this. It comes back and it always tries to remind you like, I'm still here. Don't get cocky. Don't, don't you dare for one minute think you got rid of me. You're not that skilled. I'll probably be breaking out till I die, guys. What's your ideal death age? That sounds really creepy. <laughs> I just feel like, like past a certain age, it just sounds like a bit daunting and like, can you be bothered? You know what I mean? Like these people are like living till 100 and you're all like mangled and people can't do any, you, you can't do anything for yourself. You're relying on people. Like, I just don't know if I want that. Like I used to want to live till I was like super duper old and sometimes I'm like, there's got to be a certain point where you're just like, oh, that's enough. It's like Forrest Gump when he says, I think I'll go home now. I think I'll go home now. He's just tired. He's done. He doesn't want to run anymore. I feel like maybe there's a certain age where that happens to you where you're just like, I'm freaking tired. This is exhausting. I can't be bothered anymore. All your friends have died at this point. You know, if you live super duper long time, you might outlive your friends. You might outlive your husband. You might outlive your kids. Like, wouldn't that suck? Literally everyone that you know and love dies and you're still hanging around. I would not want that. I don't want to be all alone. That sounds horrible. I don't know the perfect age, but I don't know if it's 110. I'll put it that way. I used to want to be like, oh, I want to live till I'm definitely in my hundreds. Mm, don't know about that. What are we going to reach for today for blushy blush? I think today I'm going to do a little bit of Dior as my, my glow. The pink one right here. We're just going to pop you down, you little pinky beautiful thing. Hmm, maybe not enough pink. This is the Ciate London. It's the color doll face. This is really pretty. It's a really pretty glowy one. That Dior is pretty, but I just need a little bit more color. Oh, there we go. That's looking cute. We're gonna go in with Givenchy. Ah, I just dropped my puff. Givenchy Prism Libre. I couldn't watch Bachelor anymore. Um, I just couldn't take it. I don't know. I just did not. I wasn't. I kept falling asleep. This season is not it for me. Sometimes I vibe with the people and sometimes I don't. And I'm just not vibing with the people and I'm also not vibing with him. Nothing against him, he seems perfectly nice. I just feel like I f keep falling asleep. I'm so bored. So then we switched to Love Island UK, the new one. And do you wanna know what happened? It's so windy this season. They're in South Africa. It looks like they're just in the middle of like a valley there's like mountains around them anyway it's so windy that i find myself getting really distracted the whole time i'm watching i'm just watching their hair whiz about in the wind and it kept getting stuck on their lip gloss and i was getting so annoyed for them 
that I, just, I wasn't even listening to what they were saying. I couldn't, I literally could not focus because I was watching all the bushes flying about and all the trees flying about and all their wind flying about and then their eyes were watering because it was so windy and I'm thinking, I'm sorry, but if you're gonna spend millions of dollars to set up a villa for Love Island, don't you think someone would go there and test out to see if it was windy or not for filming? Like wind and filming is like, the worst combo. It's just so terrible when you're trying to film and it's windy for sound. It's just, it's not the vibe. And so I'm thinking like, why didn't anyone think to go and do like a demo and just test it out to see if it was gonna work because it is windy. And like so far, it doesn't matter what time it's been, it's been windy and I just, I'm so distracted. I just keep thinking, oh, she's gonna get in her lip gloss. Oh, it's gonna get stuck in there. Like, it's annoying me so much. I'm like, what is wrong with me? Who gets annoyed about that kind of stuff? But I just, I couldn't, I literally couldn't pay attention. I wasn't even listening to what they were saying because the whole time I was staring at wind. So I'm really hoping that the wind goes away so that I can enjoy my show because of as of right now, I'm not loving it because I'm so distracted by the stupid wind. Oh, do you know what I was just thinking? If you're gonna use that device, the zip, and you've just recently had Botox, I would probably give it a few weeks before you go in with it. I don't think it would be a good idea to use it right after getting Botox because you might disrupt your Botox. So maybe like take a little like three week, maybe ask your injector how long they would recommend. But I would say at least three weeks because usually it takes about two weeks for Botox to kick in. You just don't want to disturb anything or disrupt anything. Looks like her lips are not overly glossy, which isn't my favorite look, but it's fine. Looks like it's a little darker in the corners, kind of like brownie. And then she's got like a really dark smoky eye. First I'm gonna go with pillow talk. We can't go too ridiculous. I still have to leave the house. I'm gonna fill in the whole thing. Then we're gonna take Iconic Nude from Charlotte Tilbury. This is a little bit more brown. On It goes a lot more brown on me. See how it's just a little bit more brown? And then I think I'm just gonna go in with like a hydrating lipstick. This is the Sephora L24. It doesn't look like she has anything majorly glossy on. But there is a little bit of a sheen. So we're just gonna kind of pat that down. But like, do you see how there's like a little bit, there's a little bit of a hydration to it without looking glossy. Let's do the eyebrows. Maybe I'll do them a little thinner today. This is all the eyebrow I have. Hers are a little bit thinner, but we're pretty close. Actually, I have a little bit more hair on this eyebrow. I won't do like so much at the at the base. I'll just kind of like follow my own natural. Hers are like more rounded, I feel like. The uh, the thin eyebrow trend will come back cuz she's like she's back and better than ever. And I will finally thrive. And all this time I've been struggling gonna be my time to shine so see I've made it a little thinner so that it looks more like Pammy <laughs> oh god sometimes I feel like such a loser so I'm just gonna kind of like go with my natural roundness it actually feels really weird to be doing them so thin okay I am still gonna do a couple of like little hairs just right here okay I've hardly done anything I will say it's really easy doing thin eyebrows when you already have thin eyebrows. Okay, she definitely has a, a brow highlight. So we're gonna continue like I always do with my Fulfilled palette and we're going to add that brow highlight. But I am just gonna do a little bit just to keep them in place. But we're not gonna like brush them up and make them all big. I'm just gonna kind of brush them to the side. This one, this one, and this one. And I'm gonna put that down in my crease because she definitely has 
color up to the brows. My first ever YouTube video was a Playboy Bunny eye makeup tutorial and it was based on Pamela Anderson. That was my first ever makeup tutorial. It was my first ever video. I did it in like four parts because back then if, if you weren't accepted into the, I don't know, special program, you couldn't make videos past 10 minutes. So I had to do it in like four different YouTube videos and I had to be like part one, part two, part three. And I got so annoyed by it. <laughs> and I filmed it on my laptop. That was my first video ever that I uploaded to YouTube. I wish I still had it up, but when I was pregnant with Lily, I had super bad anxiety. Like I literally went nuts. My hormones were so jacked up and I like deleted my, I deleted all my videos. So I had a meltdown. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to use the Patrick Ta palette. I'm gonna take this really dark brown color right here. And it's only because I don't have an eyeliner. Normally I would just use a black eyeliner, but I don't have one right now. So we're just gonna use this as a base because we're gonna make it really nice and smoky. So I'm just gonna pull it out because she does have like a really good cat eye. We're just gonna put that all over the entire lid. Just kind of creating that like cat eye look. This is so creamy, you hardly need any. That was like way too much what I just grabbed there. You want to make sure you're getting it all the way into the inner corner too because hers is like really dark all the way to the inner corner. And then you definitely want to pull it up and out. I started in 2009, but if you look back at my videos, I deleted like hundreds of videos before that. This is why you shouldn't do like big choices when you're pregnant. In my case, I was fine with, with Phoenix really really happy super duper happy pregnant person like very chill Ooh, there's a black in here i'm gonna take the revolution game of thrones and i'm just gonna go in with raven right here which is like a straight up black it was like a really for me it was a very easy pregnancy i was really happy i was in a really good mood really chipper like really positive never had anxiety like never never struggled with really for me the worst part for me being pregnant with him was that i had really bad morning sickness like i didn't feel i never threw up but there was plenty of like just gagging and like dry heaving but nothing ever came up whereas with lily i was actually very active with her i exercised every single day that she really fit um i ate healthy with both of them but for some reason with Lily, I just had really like crippling anxiety. I didn't understand what was wrong with me because I felt like what is like what's happening? Like, why am I acting like this? You know what I mean? Like, I just I didn't understand like why it was happening to me. It was super confusing. And um, it was really hard. It was a really, really hard pregnancy for me. And I just found it like it wasn't that I was depressed. Cause I didn't feel depressed. I just felt kind of crazy. Like I didn't feel sad. I was super excited to be pregnant. Like I was super happy to be pregnant, super excited to be pregnant, super excited to have two kids. Like I felt really, really just anxious and like not like me. And it was really weird. It's a really weird feeling. It's so hard to describe if you haven't like felt it before. And it's crazy what hormones will do to you because they literally will make you be a completely different person. But yeah, that's how I felt. I just didn't feel like me. But yeah, it kind of makes me sad I deleted all my videos. Not gonna lie, it's just a little sad. We've got that black down, it's like, whoa, intense. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go in with a little bit of purpose and a little bit of comfort. And we're just gonna start blending that black so that it's not so harsh. And I might just have to dip into this one a little bit too, just to kind of add it, just so that we can like, like make that a smoother transition. You can always go add in more black if you need to, if you take away some of that black. See how it just kind of softens it a little bit and then I'm just gonna brush off my brush and just kind of soften this out just a little bit. She does have some darkness in her inner corner. Then I'm gonna do the same thing that I just did onto this side as well. 
I had a piece of cake with Phoenix for breakfast this morning because I made a cake. My friend came over and we like were sledding and stuff. We had like a really fun little like like pre-birthday celebration. Like she brought her daughters over and the kids were sledding and we had cake and he opened a present, whatever. Um, but there was like leftover cake. And so this morning he was like, can we have cake for breakfast? So I said, yes. So I ate a piece of cake with him so he didn't feel alone because Lily didn't want to have cake. She doesn't like cake. She only likes the frosting. I'm like, oh, I really only like the cake. I could do without frosting. But the rainbow chip frosting for me is a real winner. Okay, so now that we're like blended out, I'm going to go in with that black again just to deepen up. Down here, I just want to kind of Actually, I'm going to brush off this brush because it's still a little bit tacky from that Patrick Ta. We don't want it to be tacky. Yeah, drain that off, making sure it's like super dry. And we're just going to softly like start blending so that it just keeps it really nice and black right on the lid. Because obviously once you blend it, it kind of like takes away some of that blackness. So we're just going to kind of softly blend up but still keeping it like really black right there. Then I'm gonna take my little dome shaped brush. This is the Moda, oh I'm sorry. Moda Pro BMX 402 Smudger. First, I'm gonna go in with Home. And I'm just gonna start smoking this out. Her under eye was really dark. And I did put a little bit of that Patrick Ta base down just so that it would like really stick. I'm doing the dark brown first, just to kind of like leave it a little softer. Then I'm gonna go in with the black and I'm just gonna go on top of that and just really smoke it out. That's from that Revolution palette. Then I am gonna take that black on top and I'm just gonna act as if I was doing a wing just so that it's extra black. But then I'm, instead of keeping it a harsh line, I'm softly like blending it up. This is Koki Cosmetics 530 Deepest Black Velvet Smooth Eyeliner. I tested it on my hand and it was really great, so hopefully it'll work. Koki Cosmetics, you winner. We're gonna curl the lashes really, really well. The trick with this look is really making the lashes like pop. So obviously if you were like going out, I would say, and you, you like false lashes, I would say pop on some false lashes because sometimes just mascara alone like doesn't cut it. I'm not going to put false lashes on because they really just irritate my eyes and I just can't be bothered with it. So I am just going to really load up the primer and hope for the best. But the lashes can either make or break you. If the lashes aren't dramatic enough, your lashes will literally disappear. It's not an easy look to pull off. Like it really isn't. This is obviously not an everyday makeup. <laughs> she has lashes on and like they still almost disappear like you really have to like work the lashes so you want to make sure that you're, ugh, you're using a lash primer and a super duper black mascara so i'm just getting a clean brush and like buffing it away to kind of like soften this because hers is not as harsh as mine so we're just kind of like softening it up a little bit and then I think she did have a little bit of an inner corner highlight. It wasn't super like bright, but you can see there is a little bit kind of like right in this corner. So I am just going to right here. It's always hard to tell in like a black and white photo what's happening with the makeup, but I'm just trying to find like the shadows. Then I'm gonna go back in with my brush, not that one, my dark brush and just 
Make sure it still looks nice and dark there. Now, she doesn't have like a super inner corner highlight. For me, I feel like it adds just a little extra something. Okay, I feel like I don't have enough gloss on my lips because I feel like she, hers was not glossy glossy, but it wasn't like matte. There was like a satin finish. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of this uh, Mario Nude Glow just in the center. And I'm just going to kind of just massage that out with the liner. Okay, so I'm just going to brush off the bake because we're looking a little bit wild at the moment. It's really hard to tell from this picture what color blush that she wore. So I'm just going to Google Pamela Anderson, and we're just gonna try and find a picture. She actually has a little bit more red to her lips. There's like a little bit more of like a, oh, I forgot how big that was. But there's definitely like a, a pinky color to it. So that was the happy. It was like brown with a bit of like a pinky rose tone to it. I wonder if we just add like a super shock shadow. Yes. I feel like that's totally working. Cause it was like a little bit frosty. And then she has like more of a like burgundy-ish. Like her top lip is almost like burgundy. That was um, Chicory from MAC. And it looks like she has like a nice little peachy blush. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with the one that I always do. She really was like so beautiful. I mean, she still is, but you guys know what I mean. I feel like we got the lip color perfect. Cause it was, there was like a sheen, but it wasn't glossy. I am gonna have to just do my Ben Nye Super White just cause I feel really weird without having it. Like I don't feel like normal. I feel like there's so much dark on my eyes. I just need to like brighten. I am just gonna add a little bit though cause I just feel like a little bit weird. So I'm gonna take Sephora Fascinated number 29 and I'm just gonna go ahead and add that to the apples. See, this is her barbed wire. See how she has that sheen like on her lips just in the center. And then that was like definitely not blended out, but we're gonna make a modern day Pamela. It was like super dark, super duper smoky. Um, but again, she had that like nice peachy blush. I'm just trying to like pick up like also, I'm trying to look at all different types of pictures of her. Okay, I'm just gonna set my face. I feel so weird with such thin eyebrows. <laughs> it just feels wrong. Do you know what I mean? It's so funny. Um, I'm kind of like obsessed with this lip combo. Like I think it's actually really beautiful. Okay, so we've got our blush. We did all the things. Smoky eyes. I'm gonna go do my hair because I feel like it doesn't look good until you do the hair when you have this much makeup on. It's like you need makeup to make, you need hair. Also my hair is not as blonde as it used to be, but I'm gonna go and fix my hair. Okay guys, and here is the final look. So I've put some curls in my hair. It's really not Pamela Anderson hair, but it's fine. I um, I just wanted to curl it how I normally curl it, but I got like these little pieces down to kind of make it look a little bit like her. And I put it to the side. But there is the finished look. So as you can see, her eyebrows are definitely thinner, but we do have that like really smoky, like dark, just sensual eye. And I feel like I definitely nailed it with the color. Um, as far as like the colors, oh here, let's just pull up the one that I found. Yeah, I feel like the color is like so close. Oh, hi, smiling. I think hers is a little bit more red or pink. A little bit darker up at the, um, up at the base. It's like a mix between barbed wire up top, but more blended. It's like a, it's a Pamela Anderson inspired look, but make it current. So that like, I can't do the, I just, I have to blend. Like I can't not blend. It makes me feel very weird, but I feel like the lips are really, really close to this one. I feel like it does need a little bit more red in there. 
like just a little bit but I don't even know if I have anything that would go so I'm just gonna do it like this so I can really tell the sheen is like in the middle I feel like it needs a little bit more red let's just add a little bit more this is chicory what And then we'll add a little bit more of this. Hers is like really frosty, like right here. And then right here. I'm doing it like this so I can't really tell. Yeah, I feel like the lips are really close. I don't know why I'm just like sitting here like this. But I feel like the lips are like super close without being perfect. But they're pretty darn close. Um, so yeah, I'm like really like these eyebrows I'm like so confused by. I keep looking at my face and I'm like I don't feel like myself. But, but there's my two Pammy inspiration picks. It's kind of like a mix. A mix of the two. Um, but it's actually really pretty. Let me just like floof up my hair and make it look like extra Pammy. I feel like she always had like really like messy, like tousled, messy curls. Like so romantic. Yeah. My light has run out, so I don't even get to finish off with my, with my good light. Maybe I'll come back later when my light's charged up. Um, but yeah, there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I definitely feel like the eyebrows as well, the fact that I did that fabulous little zip device, it's, it's totally helped with this look. Did not plan that at all. But the way it's like really like lifted my brows, like my lid is not even hooded at the moment. Like look at that. When I'm just like looking like straight on. I like, it's totally lifted my face. I feel like it's lifted this little corner of my mouth. Like, I'm actually so impressed. I'm so excited to keep using this and see how it works. And then, of course, that LED uh, red light therapy mask as well. So I hope you guys had fun getting with me, ready with me. It's been such a hectic day. It's already 1.30. I've not stopped since 6 o'clock. I'm starving. I just had that piece of cake, which definitely didn't stick around. I'm supposed to be making another cake for Phoenix that's gluten-free so that my brother can have some and Jay can have some. I need to go get frosting. I need to... Because... Um, we used it all yesterday on his other cake because I'm making him two separate cakes. So I need to go get frosting. I need to go get more cake. Oh, no, I have cake mix. I'm good. I have cake mix. What else do I need to do? I need to pick up my children. That would help. There's something else I need to do. Oh, I still have one more video to film, but I don't know if I'm even going to have time. Oh, God. Do we like my regular eyebrows or do we like my actual eyebrows? Because, like, literally this is, this is how thick my actual eyebrow is. I just had to add on a tail and a little front bit. But this is how my actual eyebrows are. Like they're so thin naturally. So I'm also like really liking this lip because it's so different for me. Like I never, I feel so, I do, I do not feel like myself right now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to take advantage of that coupon code for ZIP. It's going to be the 25% off for the bundle, the 25% off if you just want to get the Zip device, and then 10% off if you just want to get the LED light therapy. Personally, I think the bundle is probably a better bang for your buck, as well as just like the benefits of both is pretty darn good. All, all the links to everything that I'm using in this video today will be in the description box below, but the coupon codes and the, just, and the links to the devices will also be in. I'm going to go and, oh, I don't have time to film. Ugh. The days are not long enough. I'm just going to say this right now. The days are not long enough. I forgot to do one thing. My new hair fragrance that I got from Eva NYC. So I sprayed this in my hair the other day when I got it in PR and I didn't tell Jay about it. Like I just, I just sprayed it in my hair. And then he was like, later on, it was like that night, I like did this or something, I don't know, I, I wafted. And he's like, oh my God, your hair smells so good. And I was like, oh really? And he's like, yeah, what'd you do? And I was like, I'm not wearing perfume today. And then I was like, oh wait, I actually sprayed a hair perfume. And he's like, it smells so amazing. And it had been hours, like it was that night. And he said my hair still smelled really good. And all I did was just kind of like do a little waft. And he was like, mm, yum. And I was like, oh my God, amazing. So this does work. It's the Eva NYC uh, Main Magic Hair Fragrance. It's got vanilla, tonka bean, white musk, 
um, some fruity things as well, but apparently it works because Jay said my hair smelt delicious and that's what we always want. So I'm officially going. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a fabulous day and I'll see you guys in my next one.